Hello, it's Penny. Today we have 30 minutes of our mixer. So we'll be doing some cardio and strength training combined. This is awesome to burn calories. It's also a really efficient way to get a lot of different things in a short amount of time. Not that 30 minutes is short. <laughs> Any movement is good movement. I know you've heard me say that before. Anyways, what you need is just a clear space to move and also a chair for support. And if you'd like a little extra resistance, a pair of dumbbells. We'll warm up and get rocking and rolling. First, as you know, Friday, fun pants, right? I know mine aren't wild today, but I am sporting purple. <laughs> so I do have some fun purple pants on for you today. Trust me, I'll get my wild pairs going soon. But even putting on, you know, something like a bright color, it can really change your day. So keep wearing those fun pants and keep rocking that good energy. Let's go ahead and get warm. Standing nice and tall. March it on the right. Time to get moving, right? Arms are just pumping naturally. Hands on your hips, tap inside. Pointing those toes. Please remember, grab water whenever you need it. Also, make any modifications that are right for you. Movements can be smaller or bigger. March it out. March. And some days, you may be like, you know what? I just need to take a break. That's okay. You're up and you're moving. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, it's all good. Give yourself a mental high five. Tap it out again. Pointing the toes. Think about that torso, nice and tall. March it out. Now we're just gonna take this march forward and backwards, right here. Forward and back. Let's add some arms, push, push. Four more. March it out. Take it a little wider. Take your feet close to the ground, plant them. So tall, knees hanging out with those toes. Hands on the hips. Two count sumo squat. We lower and rise. Just warming up. You don't have to go very low. You can also have that chair right in front of you, holding on if you need it. Down, squeeze your inner thighs on the way up. At the very top, can you feel those glutes contract? Warm up is a wonderful time to rehearse our moves. And you know I love squats, right? Last one. Walk the feet in, open your chest, release down, inhale, take a big breath and get tall. Exhale, hands to your thighs, shoulder rolls back. One more, shake it out. Left foot, march it. Stay right towards me. Make sure that your arms are moving in opposition. See how the elbow moves in front and in back of your ribs. Picking up those feet. Hands on your hips, tap it out, left leg. 
pointing those toes. Left march. Body may be getting warm. Breath a little deeper. If you're starting to feel pretty good, add a little more umph in. Hands on the hips, tap it side. Purple is my mom's favorite color, just so you know. So I'll call these the purple Grandma Carol pants. March it left. Pick those knees up. We got one more time. Side taps. You may want to cross your arms and really think about how your midsection is working to keep you tall and proud. Four more. See if you can even feel your side bodies engaging as you lean a little bit side to side. We take the arms out. Those midsection muscles have to do a lot more to support your spine. March it left. Okay, let's think forward and back. Forward and back. Like I think I'm gonna go in, maybe not. Heel toe. Do you feel that with your left foot? Heel toe, toe, heel. Arms are pumping, we are getting warm now. Easy march. Shake out the arms. Roll those shoulders up and back one more time. Let's take one more deep breath into that belly. Exhale. Grab a drink of water. We're gonna go into our first round. I'm gonna grab my water too. It's hidden over here, but I have it. After you've had your water, walk around, make sure that you face your weights. Use your strong legs to take those weights up. Come on back. Now we're gonna start with the right leg forward and the left leg back. Nice and tall, hip hinge, chest is leading. We have our rows. We pull to the ribs and lower down. Pull to the ribs, go ahead and join in. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. Open your chest. You are looking down a little bit beyond your big toe. How is your breath? Keep it nice and fluid as you are strengthening your upper back and the back of your shoulders. Do you feel a little heat right between those shoulder blades? Also notice your pause. Pausing up, controlling down. One more, please. Nice. Now go ahead, step in, turn front, stay out wide, toe out. Weights can be right here at your waist, or you can hold them at the top of the bicep curl, right by your armpits. Arms are glued in. Two and two sumo. Down, squeeze up. Inner thighs and then your bum. Now, we've got those dumbbells really close to the body. Looking up, just think like your back was sliding up and down a wall. You are looking ahead, waking up those legs. Four more. How are your legs? If it feels good, you can go a little bit lower. Or, in all positions, you can go a little bit less. 
Now take it halfway, pull, nice and tall. Arms down in the side. Now if you need to come up, you can. If not, we're gonna stay right here. Let's start our two and two bicep curls. Up and down. Getting that full range of motion all the way to your shoulders, all the way to those thighs. Nice. So we know that this is more than just a bicep exercise, right? We're building some heat, our cores are working, and obviously that lower body's working, right? So good. Four more, breathe. Remember, if we need to come out, just come up for a second. It's a long time to stand those legs. One more. Now bring it all the way to the top again. Come on up. Nice, turn your feet front. Take the dumbbells down. Now we're gonna turn towards the left foot this side. The toe is up. We are tall, hinge forward. Row back from your hips. Tricep extensions, we go straight back and in. You can check this out a little bit. Notice we are targeting the back of the upper arm. Please join in, squeeze. Similar to that row, we're looking a little bit beyond our front toe. If you ever need to move a little slower, you can. Let's try eight more. Squeeze. Stopping right at that hip. Wrists are nice and straight. Four, three, two, and one. Weight down, walk it in. Lose those weights, that first round is over. Relax your fingers, march it right. March. Shake it out a little bit. Now let's walk it forward and back. Towards me, away. Add in some arms, reach, down. The same thing, to the side. Out and in. Same thing. I kind of want to go there. No, I don't. Add in some arms. Up. Nice. Picking up those feet. Take it to the front. Now to the side. To the front. To the side. To the front. Side. We're gonna cut it down, one of each, front and side. Front, side. Nice. Last one. Now keep your right foot forward, right here. Left foot back, tap, tap, back and in. It's just a little tap. Ground your right leg. We've got opposition arms, reaching out. Maybe you wanna lift that knee. Like we're taking off on a run, and then bringing it back. Or maybe you'd like to try a little kick, kick, and yes, your right leg, it is working. Eight more, you're looking great. Down and up. Four more, and I know that, I know I can't see you, but if you're up and moving and trying, or even if you're respecting that body and taking a break, you are doing great. March it left, march. Nice, you may feel a little more oxygen coming in, right? And that's what happens when our heart rates go up. We start breathing a little deeper in that cardiovascular state. 
Good for our heart. We make it a stronger pump. Left foot forward and back. Forward and back. Remember that talk test? Make sure you can talk, add in the arms, push. To the front. Picking up those feet. Four more. Take it to the side. Out, in. Natural arms. Another option, hands can always stay on the hips until you get the feet. If you like, you can add in just that lift. Four more to the side, and then we're going to cut this down a little bit. Come towards me. To the side. Towards me, side. Towards me, side. Towards me, side. Now one of each, front, side, front, and side. Are you getting a little sweaty? Four more. One more. Now, left foot forward, right foot back. I'm going to angle a little bit. You can bend into that front leg, a little tap, tap. Really light, opposition arms, or we've got that chair that you can hold on to. Keep going. Our front knee is hanging out with our toes. If you're ready to add a knee, lift off. Ground your left foot. Nice. If you're ready for that kick, take it. It can be really low. If you are kicking high, make sure you are standing tall. Getting in a great workout on Friday, right? Couple more. Last two. I know, what does a couple mean? March it out. Woo! Shake it out. It is a great time to grab another drink of water. We're going to go back through our strength training, and then we're going to have one more round of cardio. A little larger chunks today. Good for us. I'm going to grab my water. Cheers. Make sure you face those weights. So important to pick them up properly. So let's start this time with the left foot forward. Right foot back, on the toe. We are tall, hinge forward. Let's row up fast. And then down, slow. Hold, slow down. Please join in. Row up a little faster, pull, control down. Keep going, pull, slow down. Squeeze those shoulder blades to your spine. Lift that chest. Four more, pull, down. Two more. One more. Hinge up. Turn everything, open it up. We're out wide. 
Weights can be on the hips or at the top of that bicep. Plant those feet. Two and two sumo squats. Here we go. Lower, squeeze up. Where are the dumbbells? Right by your body, yes? Looking up. Have you added that little extra tush squeeze at the top? It's subtle. We keep our backs nice and long, so no pushing the hips forward. But we do feel that booty squeeze just a bit at the top. See if you can go a little lower. Four more. I'm sweating. Feels good to sweat, right? Now hold it halfway down. Right in the middle. Let's meet right here. Up and down. Alternate it. Still get that full range. Thighs to armpit. Keep the torso tall. If you need a little more, you can step out wider. Get a little lower. So many things are working right here. Feel your front belly. Belly button pulling to the spine. Ribs hugging together. Legs staying nice and stable. Breath is calm. Two more. Bring it back to the middle. Come out of that sumo squat. Woo! <laughs> Hands down. Now let's turn. Face your right leg up on the toe. Nice and tall torso. Hinge forward. Row up, triceps. Back. Back. Now similar to that row, take it up quick. Down slow. Nice, so it's back, slow. Squeeze the back of your arms, lower down. Nice, big exhale. Eight more. Do you feel the back of your upper arms? You may also feel the middle of your back and the back of your shoulders. They are stabilizing to keep your chest nice and open and your spine long. Two more. Last one. And release. Oh, it's gonna feel good. Walk around. Place those weights down. Shake it up. March it on the right. It's gonna feel too good to move. Your legs just stabilized, your core. Strong arms from that series. Single step together. Toes, knees, and hips. Directly forward. Let's do two of these. One, two. Lateral movement. Hands follow the feet with a little push. You can feel like you're dancing. We're pushing someone out of the way, right? Nah, we wouldn't do that. We're nice and happy because we work out, right? Four more. March it out. You're welcome to stay right here. Or fast feet. Real light. Now. Arms get smaller, feet get faster. This is your own fast. 
Four more. Two more. Grab a jump rope. Jump rope. Any way you would like. Could be heels. Jump rope. Four more. Shake it out. Take the hands up. Just shake it out. Party time. Four more. March it left. Step it together. Make sure that you have a nice, clear space. Two of these. When you're ready, add in your jam, right, with your arms. Have a little fun. Get lost in the music, in the rhythm. Four more. Two more. March it out. Again, this is a great option right here. We're going to make it smaller, still very light when your feet hit the ground. Fast feet. Nice. Again. Are those elbows moving? Sometimes we stay right here. It actually helps your body to get that off position going. Five, four, two, jump rope. However you would like. Those heels might feel nice. Pulling the toe towards your knee. Two more. Easy march right. Feet hip width apart. Plant your feet. Soften your knees. Belly's nice and tight. Right hand can go across or up. See where you have space between your ears and your shoulders. Left hand is gonna slide down. It's a little slide. Towards the knee, squeezing. Right where my finger is, right on the side. I see Oreo in the distance. Let's see if he comes. Oreo, do you want to visit? <sighs> He's behind the camera now. Hey, Oreo, do you want to come say hi? No? And release. Roll. Take the other arm up, soften, or remember right here if that serves you better, slide. Right towards that knee. We'll see if Mr. Oreo makes an appearance today. This motion can also be pretty small, right? Eight more. Oh, I think he's coming. Ah, oh, we got an Oreo sighting. Hey, Oreo. <laughs> I knew he wanted to be part of the show. And release. Shake it out. Let's take that right foot forward. I'm going to turn. Tap your toe. Tap. Let's bring it down. Come into a stretch. And activate that shin. Front of the lower foot. Hey there. Now hold it up. You can hold your chair, take the bow. Oh, you want up, right? It's kind of a big chair. I don't know if he's gonna get all the 
the way up. All right, I'm glad that Oreo has joined us. Feel that opening through the back of your leg. Come on up, step in just a bit. On that right toe, drop down, drive that hip forward, hold it there. Now he's on the treadmill, if you can see. Maybe he wants to go for a walk. Exploring, curious cat, right? Release, shake it out. Let's take that left foot forward, tap the toe. Lifting it up. I get it. Oreo's a star right now, right? <laughs> Animals are so fun to watch. Now leave it up. Stay tall, support, hip hinge. Open up that back body. So check right here. If you're feeling slumped, open and lift your chest. Even if you need to come up higher, that's okay. It's right from here. Sitting that bum down and back. Now come on up, let's take that same leg, open up the hip flexor on the toe, hip drive forward. Water sounding pretty good to me again. And release, step it in, roll the shoulders. And let's open the chest one more time. How do you feel now? Hopefully pretty good. In opposition, reach forward. Open. And reach forward. Up tall, big breath in. Exhale, woo hoo. We did it, Friday fun day, right Oreo? So now, he's just hanging out there, right? You're late to the show. Anyways, enjoy. If you've got thumb pants on, enjoy them. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you next time.